Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of adversity, so uh, the boys showed no quit, and all the adversity stuff that happened all game, we just wanted to make it all worth it, so the boys just dialed in and got the job done. Gage, okay, usually when you say that if you get through a long stretch of penalty kill, you know, two goals, that you, that you survived it, but you were shorthanded for about nine minutes, you, you guys kind of did survive it. But how much of a momentum switch did you guys feel with the shorthanded goal early in the third? Did that really feel like the moment things turned around, or did it even happen before that? Yeah, uh, I mean, they only got two on nine minutes of power play time, so I think that's a win for us. But yeah, I think definitely that shorthanded goal kind of um, really just got us going, I guess. Um, we were lacking shots all game, and just to see one go in, I think kind of was a big energy boost. To Melvin Gage's point, you guys had three shots in the first period that didn't come until late. Obviously, they didn't keep, things came a lot more plentiful in the third period. Was the first period and the third period then different? Were you guys playing different? Why were the opportunities there when they weren't over here? I think uh, we knew we weren't at our best, and um, sometimes you're not going to be at your best every every period. So I think we just kind of refocused, got our minds right in the third period, and we just came in for the hunt and got the job done. Uh, one of the things in the third period that stood out was on the power play and even strength, just constant pressure in the zone, constant sustained pressure. Was that something that you felt built momentum for you guys? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, uh, we uh, we just knew we couldn't we couldn't quit. We didn't want to sit back, so we knew uh, we have nothing to nothing to lose. We're already down, so I think boys just kept uh, working, working, working. Obviously, it ended up working out for us. And engage, uh, you know, even with the team since the beginning. I mean, this is probably one of the crazier games, just with everything that went through and the comeback. And well, where where do you think this one kind of? If you think about it, just on top of your head right now. Where do you think this game ranks in that? Just, just with everything you tell and coming back and the way you did it tonight? Yeah, I definitely think it's up there just because uh, Bakersfield's kind of the rival here. And they've had our number, I think, for the last couple of years. So I think that one's really big for us and um, just shows how good we could be. The fiery nature of tonight's game, Gage, was it all just unique to what happened within the whistles tonight? Or did any of that extend back to last night? Um, I think it was just frustration from last night. I think we thought we played a really good game last night, obviously. Um, didn't get the result, and then that first period was kind of embarrassing to us, so I just think it kind of snowballed over, and, um, yeah, just some bad blood, I guess. And Jamal, five goals in the third period for you guys, and this is where you must win territory now. This is a back-against-the-wall game for you guys. Is a performance like this in the context in which you guys had it something that can – help you guys through the final 10 games of the season? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's good. Um, we're showing some resiliency, and obviously the boys know how close it is, so I think everyone has it in the back of their mind, and everyone's just going to give a little more, and uh, hopefully everything works out. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.